Okay, in this section we'll be talking about how to dress according to the body shapes. Here the goal is absolutely not categorizing you into a body shape. The goal is to point out the ways to highlight your loved body features and create a silhouette with a balanced proportion. Because the more balance we achieve, the more flattering the silhouette will look. Therefore, balancing is the key word of this section. We use balance strategy in deep aspects, from cuts to colors, from fabrics to accessories, and in many details, where the pleats should be, embellishments, pockets, necklines, the sleeves, the pants leg, dresses, skirts, even the hemline of the jacket. We have so many tools to benefit from. First is first. The first step is closely and objectively evaluating your body shape. Which features need to be played down or defined? To make it easier to figure out, let's focus on the butt parts. Shoulders, bust, waist and the hips, thighs, legs, generally the upper body or the lower body. You may have large hips, small bust, wide shoulders, narrow shoulders, undefined waist, fuller middle section or flat tummy, drop down shoulders, large thighs, but thin legs. Your upper body may be slimmer than your lower body. All types of variations. Of course, it's impossible to downsize billions of women into five body shapes. And as again, I would like to repeat that our goal is not categorizing people as each of us is unique and beautiful as the way we are. The aim is to use the category's prominent characteristics to explain the proportion balancing strategies. To determine the five body shapes, pure, curvy, inverted triangle, apple, and rectangle, we'll use four body parts measurements or visual assignments, shoulder, bust, waist, and hips. How will you be measuring? The most objective method is using a clothing. Make sure you stand straight, preferably with minimum clothing. And when you encircle the cloth tape around your body, it must neither be too tight or too loose. If you find it difficult to apply, ask for a friend to help you. As again, the body parts will measure B, shoulders, bust, waist and hips. But exactly where will you be placing the clothing tape to get the right measurement? Let me explain. For the shoulders, it should be at its highest point. For the bust, at the fullest section. For the waist, at narrowest part. And for the hips, at the largest. The other method is easier but more subjective. Stand in front of a mirror with minimal clothing again, preferably naked, and as objective as possible, determine what you like the most about your body, that you would like to highlight it with styling tactics, and two, which you like least or find it disproportionate relative to the rest of the body and would like to play down with styling tactics. Of course not you have to conceal anything since you're beautiful as you are without the boundaries of body shape. We're doing this just for making you feel more confident when looking in the mirror by using styling tactics. So now why don't you pause the video and use one or both of the methods to measure your body and after measuring come back because we'll be proceeding with the characteristics of the body shape so you can define which one you plug to. Great, so you know about your measurements. Generally speaking, there are five body shapes. One, pair body shapes like the Kardashians, like Rihanna, Kristen Davis, Jennifer Lopez and Shakira, alternatively defined as the triangle, pair body shapes, has slimmer upper body relative to larger lower body. The hips, the rear and thighs are larger than the upper body and they have a defined and narrow waist. Second, hourglass or curvy. Luckily, this is a balanced silhouette. The bust and hips are almost even with a well-defined waist. Beyonce, Marilyn Monroe, Ashley Graham, Christina Hendricks remember her outfits in Mad Men as she was playing John Holloway. 3. Inverted triangle like Cameron Diaz and Demi Moore, Angelina Jolie, Carly Kloss. Inverted triangle has an athletic silhouette where the shoulders are wide and broad, however with little or no definition of waist. 
and straight to flat hips and rear. Usually they have nice and slim legs. For Apple, like Rebel Wilson, Amy Schumer and Queen Latifah. In Apple or round body shapes, top is heavy with full bust and midsection and the waist is undefined. It gets narrower to the hips and thighs, mostly nice and slim legs like the inverted triangle. And the last one is rectangle like Kate Hudson, Anne Hathaway, Victoria Beckham, Cara Delevingne. They have straight shoulder lines, straight hips and bottom, waist definition little or none. Mostly it's an uncurvy silhouette from butts to hips, almost exact line. Did you decide which body shape you fit in? If so, now is the time to learn how to dress for your body type. I've created a digital guidebook sold on Etsy that has many many outfit examples you can wear for your body type, strategies to do or avoid to accentuate your silhouette and head to toe combined looks for inspiration by using this digital guide that you can save to your mobile or computer and use forever, you'll learn 1. The strategies to balance the silhouette, to lean towards the ideal one, the hard glass silhouette. Tactics to highlight or conceal body parts loud or less loud so that we can boost your confidence. You'll be exposed to dresses, skirts, jeans, pants, jackets, tops. And you'll understand the logic behind why a boyfriend jean looks amazing on your friend but looks less appealing on you. There's mathematics behind. You will use these learnings at shopping by buying only what accentuates your body shape and matches your style just by looking at it on the rail, not even trying on. You'll see its benefits at online shopping with no hassle of returns and effective spending. Get the most out of your wardrobe by adding the right fits, right cuts, right patterns, right fabrics and eliminating the wrong ones. The guidebooks are awaiting you on Etsy and the link is in the description box.